Okay, this one's going to be an interesting one. Right. Let's see what we've got. Actually, we're going to keep it at 100 this time for a change. So let's see how we go with this one. So I wonder if we're going to text enhance it. I'm going to reverse the colours. And the colour adjust, we'll see what we do with that. I wonder what we're going to do to the black. We're going to strip the black from this one. We're just going to have just pure colour for this particular one. So what are we going to do with this silly Konica Minolta shit? machine this is what we call Karnika Minolta and see if I can make this hang on what are we doing here I think we want copy density this time and we're going to have contrast I'm going to turn the contrast up a bit maybe a lot but not all the way and we're just going to clear that and we're just going to do something interesting to an original it's a funny original what is it? It is a some kind of technical report for a Xerox photocopier. So this is not for Konica Minolta this time. This is for Xerox. So this is a Xerox report. So let's see if we can make the Xerox shit look really nifty. Okay, let's see if we can make it look nifty this time. We're just going to shuffle it. And let's see what we've done. See if we've made a really good job of it. Okay, let's pull it out. Ew, that looks quite yucky. That's a terrible green. It's what happens when you strip the black is the colours can often look shit house. We've got some lovely rainbow bits there, however. So I'm wondering if we're just going to put the black back into our copy because it, it does. It looks shit. Absolute shit. Sometimes taking the black out, especially for um, flat art, art is, is it looks shit out. It looks better with 3D objects like hands and faces and other shit and objects. But it looks absolutely horrid. For the most part with flat objects like paper and stuff so we're just going to put it back here again i'm going to put it back here i'm going to start again see if we've made this see if this one comes up a treat so if you've never seen me strip black from a, a, a copy this is that's a demonst this will be a good demonstration to see just what it does when you strip the black and just have all the colours. And let's see what we have. It looks better, as you can see. Only thing is we didn't move it fast enough to create much of that lovely rainbow effect that we seek after when we photocopy in full colour and we're moving a black and white object. So maybe we can do one more and see what we can do to make it look even nicer. We're going to have to move it harder and faster. So let's see if we can... If we can Maybe we can do something else. I got a feeling, don't know if I've done anything here that might... Oh, I forgot to push up the saturation. We want the colour. So I think we're just going to push up the saturation. And we're just going to move it a lot faster. See what happens then. Because that'll split the colours up more if you move it quickly. So let's see if we've made the colours break up out of the black. So it's an interesting technique. It's a technique that's been going on for decades using motion. It's been referred to by a lot of photocopy artists as copy motion, or some of them. I think it's called. I think that's what they call it. But you can see we've got some really good colours happening. With, we've got a really nice one with the with the docu center 4C 3370. That's a really good result we've got there. And you can see we've got lots of colour. We've got lots of colour down there. So we're just going to 
look at the whole thing closely just to get a good idea just how nice these colors really are but that's what happens and you get you get these really good colors contrasting with the black which really is good it's really nice so i think we're happy with this overall demo gotta go